Jojo has fun. All right. Okay. So uh, you pick. Uh, welcome back. Bridge Bears. Okay, and I picked Emma Stone. I'm sticking to it. Edda! Player is a side of like this, and the selection of somebody is secretly related to Radfist. Ooh. Oh. Emma Stone, you can tell because of the teeth. What? Yeah, Emma Stone's got weird teeth. Oh. Uh, Britney Spears is a hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's related to Radfist, how? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know anything about Britney Spears' background. Um... Uh yeah, I guess I'm gonna give I, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give you this one. Hell yeah! All right, week two morning, yes. Let's go. All right, I'm gonna go to the bathrooms. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. Oops. Yeah, I know that is. You give plus zero shits, but gain plus two boldness. Nice. Oh, you're bold and fun and smart. I know. Sigh. Woe is me, Sigh. Oh, my God. She's fucking adorable. Can Miranda possibly do this because she wants attention? Only one way to find out. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was standing here suffering gallantly in science. Silence. In science. In science. Look at all these beakers. <laughs> she did, and she wasn't, but okay. I had the most tragic injustice injustice befall me earlier this morn. <laughs> this morn? <laughs> I was rejected from our school's water polo team. Oh no, let's burn them down. They claimed I was mistaken about how polo is conducted underwater. Excuse oh my god, that's actually happened to me. Excuse me, but I was raised underwater. Wait, what? I thought that water polo was done with horses in a Under giant pool. Oh. That would be weird and hilarious. Yeah. I thought yeah. that rich people just did weird shit. Yeah. How is one even supposed to play water polo <laughs> without a heavily armored seahorse as a mount? I, how? I ask you. Perhaps I offended them when I implied that they were too impoverished to afford sea steeds. <laughs> if so, why? I would love to make reparations. But it may be too soon for me to show my face. Would you be so kind as to take them the gift of this omelet to begin the healing? I am told that peasants consider eggs to be a delicacy. Um, obviously. And what would make the gesture even better is the personal touch of, uh, ooh, toppings, chocolate, I'll they'll never forget that this is a present from Mayor Prince. Or an elegant stenciled card with your sincere apologies, a list of all their fears, and a bundle of compromising photographs. I think, oh man, shit, this is a tough one. Yeah, that is really tough, because I don't really know. I, I, I think the second one. I'm thinking the second one, but uh, I'm going for it. Oh, <gasps> oh. Fuck. fuck, I'm not charming anymore. Oh, I would rather not have to learn so much about my fellow students. Damn it! Do you know how many of those poor impoverished souls have mere millions of monster dollars? Ugh. Not even billions. Millions. I can't imagine how difficult it must be to live on, live so frugally. And I don't want to imagine it because it makes me sad. I would much rather they know how much I care about their lives without me having to, you know, care about their lives. Oh, God, God, I can't believe I fucked that up. You really cocked it. Fuck! That's exactly why an omelet is so perfect. It says, I like you enough to give you this egg. Please don't talk to me about personal issues. That is what an omelet says. Now, off with our delicious egg. And don't ask any questions about their sad, dreary little lives. Okay, man, she's mad at me. I don't know what I could do. It's hard to imagine how anything Miranda said could have possibly offended the water polo team. There's an omelet in your hands, and you've already eaten your fair share of eggs today, so you may as well deliver it. Ugh. You lose minus two fun and minus one charm. Fuck! All right! I'm far less fun than before. This is bullshit. Where do you want to go? I want to go to the outdoors. Here? Yeah. Oh, look at you dabbing. That wow. day during recess, you start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. 
Summon summons demons from the nightmare dimension. The consequences might disturb the fabric of reality, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two fun. Oh, wow. I'm not that fun in real life. Someone taps you on the shoulder hesitantly. You turn and see Liam. Oh, sploosh. He's carrying a brand new notebook and a very Japanese pencil. <laughs> oh, Yaoi, remember? Oh, shit. That's right. You promised to teach him the secrets of Yaoi. He bows to you. Uh, oh, 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 you. Uh, uh, no. I'm learning Japanese so as to make this more authentic. More authentic. I'm ready for my first lesson. You know nothing about teaching Yaoi. You kind of just draw naked dudes snuggling and hope it turns people on. <laughs> but Liam won't buy that. He thinks you're a Yaoi master. You've got to teach him something. He's right here waiting. Okay, think. What's the first lesson of Yaoi? Yaoi is all about tenderness. Advanced cuddling. Uh, I'm going to say advanced cuddling. But right. I... Wait, no, 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 no. Draw me like one of your French girls. That one? Yep. All right. Because he's like hipster, and hipster people like France. Do they? Yeah, they're like Frenchophiles. It, or Frenchophiles, Francophiles. French, they love French fries. They, they like French fries. Yeah, go hipsters French. Hipsters like French fries. Yeah, because like... Jeff? Jeff, why you no make choice? <laughs> draw me like one of your French... <laughs> draw me like one of your French girls? All right. Oh, good oh, job. Oh, bold. Fucking nailed it. You strip naked and strike a seductive pose, not caring who sees. Liam definitely sees, and judging by the blood pouring from his nose, he likes it. That is the weebest thing I've That's ever heard. so weeby. He spends 10 minutes frantically scribbling in his notebook and then hands it to you. I have done of you as you asked, Sensei. What do you think? It's a stick figure of your hair and an arrow pointing to it that says hot. He's got a lot to learn, but that just means you'll get to spend more time teaching him. Looks like this won't be your last lesson. You gain plus one boldness, charm, and creativity. Dude, fuck you. <laughs> dab, dab. <laughs> Everybody choose something cool. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking something cool. Sunglasses. I have a mechanical keyboard I really like. Oh, my God. It's a Razor Black Widow Ultimate. It's super cool. It glows. It has lights in it. We love lights in this fucking channel. Fuck you. Play or decide best how important it would be to bring the selected thing to our first Mars colony. Start debating now. Sunglasses are closer to the sun. Mars is farther from the sun. Plus, Fuck. if we're going to be in space, we're going to have lots of technology we need to type with. I realize that. Radfist wins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't Mars closer to the sun? I don't know. It's red and little. Ooh. How are we doing on time? Seven and a half minutes. It's time for me to talk to my girl. We come upon Damien sneering at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while her eating serfs chow down obediently at a neighboring table. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and shit. I mean, even the knives don't even really look that deadly. Silly boy. This silverware is not for killing. It's for kids. Things can be for stuff other than killing? That's lame as hell. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. Your serfs do it for you. Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware! Naturally, they aren't. Serfs must eat with their own hands, as befits the lower classes. We're about to eat with our hands, too, because we ordered pizza. Domino's, as befits the lower classes. So you're saying this silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes? These two can go round and round this forever, unless you say something to resolve the dispute. Okay. Um, lay off Miranda, Damien. What about your collection of exotic corpses? That's different! Those corpses are useful! Useful for what? Fucking. Uh, nah, nah. For, for holding down important documents. What important documents? Documents about very important... Ah, uh, fine! I guess I don't use the stupid corpses for anything. I just stack them in a shit and occasionally dress them in silly costumes. There, are you happy? Extremely. Aw. Uh, whatever, I'm going to go play with my corpses. <laughs> you stay behind with Miranda to admire her collection. She even teaches you how to use the romance fork. <gasps> Smooth. All right, Dalpy. All right, I want to sit with Liam. Liam and Polly aren't alone at their table. They're flanked by two beefy hobgoblins in school security uniforms. What do these two bodyguards have now? They aren't bodyguards. They're food guards? <laughs> Principal Giant Spider <laughs> found out we weren't eating during lunch. So he assigned guards to us because he thinks we have an eating disorder. And we do have eating disorders. It's called being dead. Except... It's not an eating disorder. It's an identity and a lifestyle. Death style. Whatever. The point is, 
that they won't let us leave until we've eaten our food. Which will be never. And I have a meeting of the Smug Superiority Club to conduct next period. I can't be late. If you could just figure out a way around these food guards for us, I'd be super grateful, like, in a sexy way. Oh, God, she's so cute, too. Well, you can't <laughs> say no to that. Time to enact your fiendishly clever plan. Uh, dump all of Liam's food on Polly's plate. With all the artistic subtlety of performance artist Marina Abramovic, you pour Liam's food onto Polly's plate and through her lap. No, this is the exact opposite of what I wanted. Good lord. What a ta tableau? <laughs> <laughs> like a he actually says it like that. A tableau? Like a tableau? <laughs> huh? A ghost bewildered by a mountain of unwanted food. This is perhaps my most daring food pick yet. You guys are really throwing me under the bus here, which isn't cool because being thrown under a bus is totally how I died. I don't know what you're talking about, Polly. I have clearly consumed all of the food, quite honestly and forthrightly. Luckily for you and Liam, the hobgoblins are total morons with no secondary theory of mine. They instantly believe Liam's ruse. Liam whisks you away to the afternoon meeting of Smug Superiority Club, where you spend hours practicing your sneers and gazing into each other's eyes. Ooh, okay. Everybody choose something bad. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Something bad. Capitalism. Um. Oh, the that feeling you get when you bought the wrong light bulb. Oh. And I know that because I broke down and cried yesterday because that happened. Oh, I hate that. And we'll find the answer to that tomorrow. 